now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus. Can the spread of this highly infectious disease be contained? As word spread of a potential global health emergency, Professor Sharon Lewin was up early every day. She'd jog while listening to COVID-19 updates from the New England Journal of Medicine. I actually do really like physical exercise or ways to be completely distracted from all the other issues that cloud your mind in a busy work week. And as director of the Peter Doherty Institute for Infection and Immunity, there was plenty on her mind. A joint venture of the University of Melbourne and the Royal Melbourne Hospital, the Doherty played a key role in formulating Australia's pandemic response. The Institute's scientists were the first outside of China to develop a lab-grown version of the virus. And we made a decision very rapidly to share it globally and the virus was available to over 70 different laboratories around the world. The Institute also created the first COVID PCR test in Australia and diagnosed the first patient. Professor Sharon Lewin is the Doherty Institute's director. Sharon Lewin... Professor Lewin became a familiar face on Australian television, sharing findings from COVID modelling and updates on vaccine development. I never thought to myself, we are under immense pressure here, we must deliver. I was very conscious that science, public health, it's a real group effort. She says there are plenty of lessons from the pandemic, including the vital need to effectively communicate science to mainstream audiences. Science plays an incredibly important role, but science is only useful if it's done in partnership with the community and also our political leadership. And she believes the world's leaders must take steps to ensure low and middle income countries aren't left behind in the next global health crisis. So we have to make sure we've got a system that can produce 7 billion vaccines or vaccines for everyone very quickly and there's equitable distribution. Fighting to improve health outcomes globally is a day-to-day -day job for Professor Lewin. She spent more than two decades unlocking the secrets of HIV and is now president of the International AIDS Society. Professor Lewin was at the epicenter of HIV science in the late 1990s, undertaking a postdoctoral fellowship alongside the famed AIDS researcher David Ho in New York. He had just become Time Magazine's Man of the Year after pioneering the use of combination antiretroviral therapy, which transformed HIV from a terminal disease into a chronic disease. There was genuine hope it would pave the way for a cure. And within three weeks of me arriving in New York in December 97, HIV latency was discovered. HIV latency is when the virus goes into hiding within the body's cells, preventing its eradication. Her research has focused on not only finding where it hides, but coaxing it out so it can be destroyed. About one in a million cells carries a virus that we actually care about. So you've got to sift through a million cells to find that infected cell. But we've now got ways to do it. More a marathon than a sprint, but Professor Lewin, now proudly a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science, remains determined to reach the finish line. We now have widespread access to treatment. Treatment's relatively simple. The next big challenge is finding a cure.